weekend on Hot 20 Countdown. I'm that. Superstar Carrie Underwood stops by to talk new music and gives me a new look along the way. So I'm scared. You should be. Yeah. I think it'd be a good idea. Toby Keith signs off on LA's inaugural Tailgate Fest, wow. and we get the scoop on Sugarland's 60s inspired video. I felt like it was like a time capsule, you know, that had been preserved. Plus, we've got CFT's Female Stacked Artists of the Year honorees. And what 90s smash had everyone from Brooks and Dunn to Blake Shelton talking? I hear CMT is doing your first ever trip to the swamp. That is what I'm talking about. And Tim Tebow gives Dustin Lynch pep talk as he gets game day ready. Game time, baby. Let's get it. people on the planet, Carrie Underwood. Yeah. Let's see, last time we were together, it was a picturesque scene there in the Napa Valley, mm -hmm. the backdrop of the vineyards, lots of wine. No wine here today, Carrie. You're pregnant. Oh, no, so. yes. <laughs> no wine for me. Um, wah, wah. Or me. Uh, baby number two on the way. We'll get to that, plus talk about the brand new album that's just been released. And also a look back at some of the videos that made you the icon you are today. Lots with Carrie the next three hours. But first, Katie Cook is standing by with how you'll help shape today's show. Katie? <laughs> Cry Pretty just came out on Friday. Congratulations. Thank you. You co-wrote nine of the 13 songs yes. on the new project, which I think is so cool. But why is that important to you, songwriting for your albums? Um, I mean, whenever I start a new project, I kind of go into it not really knowing what to expect or what I'm going to do or exactly how much you know I'm going to be writing. I go in and I write and then I get songs sent to me and I evaluate. Yeah. And I'm like, what makes the best album? And um, I was just lucky that had some really great um, lightning strikes and some magic happening with some incredible writers. And we ended up with nine of mine. Wow. How about Cry Pretty? Already your 27th consecutive top 10 single. That's incredible. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Cry Free is a very personal song, and you said the whole album really is your most real and personal album yet. Yes. In what ways? I mean, I feel like, you know, in, in the past with Storyteller and Blown Away and um, those two especially, there were a lot of story songs. You know, you kind of make these characters, and even though you can relate to these characters, there's still like this, you're writing about characters, yeah. and you're writing the story. Um I feel like this album overall is a lot more first person and um, is a lot more emotional and um, soulful than I've, I've ever explored that area before. It opens itself up to lots of cool artwork like the cover. It does. Here. And I hear you brought some makeup. So we're going to yes. get to glamming me up a little bit later in the show. Cry Pretty, by the way, out right now. Pick up your copy. Available to stream everywhere as well. We'll get the glitter going shortly, but now number 19 this weekend. Something bad. Wow. I know. It's not good. Uh, of course, that song, also the inspiration behind your theme for Sunday Night Football for a few years. Yeah. Now you've recreated another new song for Sunday Night Football in the NFL. Yes. And that's called Game On? It is. Okay. Um, yeah, we've, they've always just kind of, you know, pushed me to be creative and wanted me to, like, do new things, like with the Super Bowl this past year. And, you know, it was kind of fun just seeing what we could come up with. And we're like, we always have, you know, two other songs that we've done that are just absolutely great. And let's just see what we can create. And um, we got together and, and wrote Game On for uh, for this year's opener. And it's just a lot of fun. I feel like, and I, and I love 
the approach that they took. They like went to all these players, like you know, towns and like these right. great football towns, and kind of got to film them in their element. And it was just really cool how they put it all together. Did you ever think in a million years that your name would be related to the sports world so closely? I mean, I did you were synonymous with football now. Yeah, it's so cool. Um, I mean, I grew up watching football and um, loving football. I'm from Oklahoma, so <laughs> we there's a lot of football going yeah. on there. <laughs> and um, it, it's just so cool to kind of play that small role and hopefully just get everybody fired up for a great game. You are on the highest rated show in America every week, Sunday Night Football. Very cool, is, right? Uh, I mean, no one turns in to watch me, but it's still pretty cool. <laughs> oh, I take that back. I will be tuning in to watch you opening night. Yeah. Aw, awesome. No doubt about it. All right, more with Carrie on the way. A few surprises along the way as well. We'll get to all that. Coming right up. Now Countdown, Jesus Take the Wheel. Not only your first song, the breakout hit for you, but also an incredible video. I know on set you talked before about sort of being a fish out of water and asking for direction at that yeah. time because you, you were new to those cameras, right? Well, they knew me, you yeah. know, from being on American Idol and like I'd done a lot of stuff, so I, I kind of already, I feel like they, everybody that I, I worked with on that set expected me to know what to do, and I'm like, this is my first video, and I do I well, I don't know what I'm doing. Help me. <laughs> um, which everybody was quick to do, and it was like, oh yeah, she's never made a video before. But um, they were just so great, and um, all the the people that were in the video. You just announced the new tour. Yeah. Cry Pretty 360, uh, which is going to be awesome. Another tour in the round. Yeah. And why was that scene sort of important to you? Well, we, we first started getting together and talking about what we were going to do, and it was like, oh, man, we can't do another one in the round because we did one last time. And I was like, why not? Like, I felt such a connection with people being on that stage. Energy was coming at me from every direction. I could see everybody in every arena, and that was just such a joy. I mean, yeah. it's always a joy being on stage, but that especially, and just getting to pick out just these pockets of people that were just having just so much fun and just connecting with so many people um, we just decided to, to obviously change up the stage and change up the production but kind of have it in that general format yeah. again. and you're bringing along with you Maddie and Tay and Runaway June on this tour and were you deliberately trying to formulate sort of an all-female roster this time? You know, once things started kind of falling into place, it was kind of like, oh, I guess, the, yeah, everybody's going to be a woman here. This is awesome. <laughs> but initially, we just wanted lots of talent. We wanted to put on the best show possible. Um, I just wanted amazing, hardworking artists on stage with me, and it just kind of ended up being all girls. That's going to be super fun. Uh, the concert tour in 2019, but tickets on sale real soon. For all the details of all of that, CarrieUnderwoodOfficial.com. Carrie's one of the 2018 CMT Artists of the Year. We've got more on that exciting show on the way. But right now, call <laughs> In that video before he cheats, wielding a baseball bat, looking like a badass in that one, just taking care of business. Another, like, Thursday night. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually filmed just down the street from us here at CMT Studios at Printer's Alley. Yes, and at, like, 2 a.m. 2 a.m., really? Like, whatever time it was, we were definitely out there in the middle of the street when, like, the bars were letting out. Right. And there were people, like, stumbling around, and I think we had some beer bottles chucked at us from, like, up on the roof. And wow. It was dangerous. It was, like... <laughs> It's crazy. It's reached a new milestone, by the way. That video now viewed 100 million times. 100 million Same. times. And what do you ever do? All my mom. Million times? All your mom. Probably. <laughs> to go to Oklahoma. Yeah. So it's I mean. It takes her a while because the internet's real slow. <laughs> she gets it. She's still on a modem there in Oklahoma. Yeah. Um, is there a video you would watch 100 million times? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe like videos of my kid. 
I'll watch those. When I travel and I get to missing them, I just start scrolling through and, like, looking, yeah. looking for things. Same here. And my kids are all, you know, a little bit older than yours now, so it's like, boy, you miss those times when they're really small. I know. And you sound so old when you say it, but they grow up so fast. You do. I look at him every day, and I'm like, you're bigger than you were yesterday. <laughs> we will talk more about the kids on the way with Carrie Underwood, but right now, back <laughs> special guest this weekend and a uh, great video though i want to talk about the cats foundation c-a-t-s right. which stands for chicota animal town and school the way you're really giving back to your hometown right yeah why well, I, I grew up in a small town in oklahoma about 3,500 people my parents still live there so still consider myself an active member in the community um it was just nice to be able to do things, you know, if the school needs a new computer lab or musical instruments or we just did like risers for the choir program and like this big curtain for um, for the, the stage in the auditorium. So stuff that people really notice in... In your, in your hometown. I mean, yeah. I, I I don't know if they notice it or not, but it's it's stuff that's needed and we do it. Yeah. And um, we fund an animal shelter that my mom helps run and we just wanna do things that make life better. I attribute so much of myself to where I came from and where I grew up and I, I love that place. Yeah. And um, I'm so glad my parents still live there because I get to go back and visit all the time. And um, yeah, I'm yeah. just glad we can help out wherever we can. Yeah. Does Mike love Dakota too? Um, he wishes my parents would let him do more. So we we go there, and he's like, "What are, can I can I mow?" And my dad won't let him use the lawnmower. <laughs> and he's like, "I can use it," but Dad's like super particular about anybody using a lawnmower. Um, so he's I think he gets a little frustrated that they won't let him help. Right. But he wants to. He's like, "Put me to work. I'm here." It's good that he wants to help out though right? it is, uh, yeah. so much more to get to with carrie right now back <laughs> Cody Allen here with Carrie, and watch that video reminds me of what a great video it is with Brad Paisley. Thank you. He's so not serious, though. I yes. wonder if you were really laughing off camera because you both look so serious on camera. Well, I, it was kind of awkward because he's like my brother, and this song is kind of mushy. <laughs> and every time we would do a take, they'd be like, you guys need to get closer to each other. Because it, on, on camera, it looks like you're a million miles away. And I'm like, but it's weird. Like, <laughs> it's weird to, like, be, be like, right. six inches from yeah. your brother, basically, <laughs> like, singing this mushy song. So it, uh, we made it made it through. Hopefully we were somewhat convincing in our delivery. I think so. Uh, Thank you. Uh, you guys are back together again for the 11th right. time hosting the CMA Awards. We're happy about that announcement, are we? Uh, November 14th, the CMAs are back with you two. I mean, at this point, you're kind of a package deal. I mean, you, you have to come together and do that show, right? Yeah, I mean, we we just have so much fun doing what we do, and we yeah. put a lot, of, a lot of love and care and work into all of it, and... Um, you know, he's he's the sunny to my share. <laughs> <laughs> it's a not an easy job either. So if something happened to Brad, and let's just say I had to fill in, what advice would you give to someone hosting a show like that? What oh, laude. Um, well, A, you don't need any advice uh, hosting anything. Oh, uh, you're sweet. But, but um, you have to be willing to just just make an idiot of yourself. <laughs> okay, I, I mean, do. clearly, <laughs> you just have to be willing to just laugh at yourself and just... I don't know. Just, yeah. Yeah. There, there we go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Lots more with Carrie to get to. Don't forget to catch the CMAs of the 24th on ABC. We'll be watching. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cody Allen right here, that video button.
by the way, still holds the record for most weeks at number one here at CNT. An amazing 14 weeks. Wow. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the big news, which is baby number two on the way. Congratulations. Thank you. We're so Very excited much. for you. You made the announcement there on uh, Instagram. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, how's it feel? How you feel right now? Good. Um, I feel like everybody has been like reading into pink. I've just been wearing pink. There's, <laughs> there's no hidden message behind anything. Um, but yeah, it's it's been good. Good. Well, we're thrilled for you and Mike and Isaiah. So, how did you break the news to Isaiah? Um, he actually noticed my belly getting bigger, <laughs> and uh, we were we were kind of staying um, visiting some friends, and they had like a lake property and. He, I'm in a swimsuit, and he's sitting there, like, squishing my belly. <laughs> and I'm like, I feel real good about myself right now. Yeah. And he actually, like, bent down, and I thought we were about to have this, like, super sweet moment where he was going to, like, kiss my belly or something, and he, like, blew a raspberry. <laughs> so I, I felt like I needed to address it, right. and so then we're like, you know, there's a baby in there, and yeah. he's like, how did it get there? And I'm like, God put it there. Um, so he's just been really sweet about it, and I don't know if he really realizes how much his world is going to change, right. but he's going to be a great big brother. Was there anyone, when you first became a mother, that you sort of leaned on for advice? Well, in the beginning, it was like, how am I going to take a kid on tour? Like, how does this work? Because there's so much going on when you're on the road, and like, how does a baby fit into that? And um, so I remember asking, like, Jennifer Nettles, Kelly Clarkson, um, Hillary Scott, like, what, how is your bus laid out? What did, what did you do? Like, what can I expect? Somebody tell me anything. Right. And um, they all just kind of gave me helpful tips about, you know, how they did things. And then we kind of took took that and made our bus baby proof and yeah. all that good stuff. For new mommies out there who are just about to have their first, and there's lots of people watching who are in that case, well, what advice would you give? It's all going to be okay, and you're going to figure it out. Love you, Carrie. More to come with Carrie Underwood right now. Out. Now, of course, the champion, we just heard, we're about to play our champion video, our number one video this weekend, but you promised me you'd glam me up because it's CMA Fest, like all your fans yes. were getting glammed up with the cry pretty eye makeup, mm -hmm. so I'm scared. You should be. <laughs> Standing over me like this, uh, but you brought your, like, rock and roll glam kit here. Yes. Uh, so, where sh you want to start, and then we'll watch the number one video and see what happens then. <laughs> Ooh. Should I close? Do I open? Uh, you can open. Here's our number one video, everybody. <laughs> More to carry next. All right. Your number one video right there this weekend with Carrie Underwood. It's been so funny. The cry pretty tears are on me. And how does it, how does it look, y'all? What do y'all think? Is it? I'm going downtown Broadway dressed like this right now. What do you, okay. will be the reaction? I think... I think it's an excellent idea. Okay. <laughs> Anything to promote Carrie's new album available now. How much do we love Carrie Underwood, y'all? I mean, thank you for being here. This has been so fun. For Katie Cook, I'm Cody Allen. Have a great weekend, everybody.